Uh, it'd probably be involuntary manslaughter. You usually can't make a manslaughter start charge stick without gross negligence. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I, under I understand. The police materials, hmm. Okay. Back to the detention center. He has nothing more to say. Back to talk to... Yes. I figured. There's hardly anyone here. Every, everyone must be out looking for the old guy, Yogi. We don't even know that it is Yogi for sure at this point. We just are kind of assuming it is. Ah, it's you. I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe has pounded the pavement for real. Grossberg seems weirdly nice and has been entirely too helpful. Grossberg is not a terrible person. I think he kind of like feels like he owes us because Mia died and it was sort of his fault. It, not Maybe not entirely, but at least a little bit. <clears throat> And then the fact that he did nothing to help during the Mia, during Mia's, during Maya's defense case, kind of like I feel like he feels bad about it. Um, we were wondering if we could check out the records room again. Well, now I can't have just anyone wandering around in there. But I guess Mr. Von Karma is in there right now anyway. You can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma. Yes, he just arrived actually. On Karma's in the record room. Nick, let's hurry. <clears throat> Dusty as always. We were only here just yesterday. I'm sure they had just haven't had time to clean. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. On Karma. Oh, one of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking in it recently. The label says unsolved cases evidence. Hmm, unsolved cases. Nick, the file for DL6, it's completely empty. What? What are you doing in here? Eh! The fun karma! You... How do you know my name? Huh? Have we met? What are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edgeworth's defense team. Defense team? Aha. Uh -huh. I beg your pardon, you see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. They are like bugs to me, needless things to be crushed. I can see how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. Um, Mr. Edgeworth is your student, right? A romanticist who still can't shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father, always second rate. Mr. Von Karma, you had an axe grind with Mr. Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Me, a crudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record. Hmm. So you did, but what I don't get is... Why did you take his son under your wing afterwards? The son of your most bitter rival. Hmm. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. What? Really, Karma? You aren't going to give us the satisfaction of a monologue? What kind of villain are you? Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a defense attorney last this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Miles Edgeworth will admit his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean. 
You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. So Von Karma is going to bring up the DL6 in, in court tomorrow. Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi? How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. So, so you admit it? You, you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter? <laughs> yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You've saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? Nick, what is that thing? That's a taser. For self-defense, usually. Don't tase me, bro! Indeed. 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600 thous? Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it, usually. Now give me the letter. No. No! Whoa, what are you? Nick, run! Ah! Maya. Out of my way. We got tased. Nick, she literally threw herself on him. It, so you could run. And you didn't run. God, you're stupid. Ugh, he got us. The letter. Gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence. All of it. Back to having no clues. Wait, Maya jumped first. Maya, is she okay? M Maya? In before it's not Maya. Maya, open your eyes. Maya! The letter. Did he take it? Huh? Oh, yeah. Are you okay? I... I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm no good as a lawyer or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not even now when we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Maybe we've been a little too harsh on Maya. Maya. Ugh. There has to be some way I can help her. I'd better do something about her self-confidence first. No, the answer is not kissing her, Phoenix. That is not how that works. <clears throat> Maya, she's holding something. What is that? A bullet? DL6 incident, evidence number 7, taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember, Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped him. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. Is this a part... Are we gonna prove that... Uh, that fucking Von Karma shot him himself? Because I don't know if y'all noticed, and I'm going to point it out as soon as possible. Can I do it here? I can. Hold on. So, does anything about this crime scene seem a little off to you? What's really wrong with this crime scene? 
if he was shot by somebody inside the elevator. What? I'm guessing it was fired from the same from the same pistol as in the boat. That's that's my only guess. And there's this right here. It's a uh, pretty noticeable. Why is there an, a bullet hole in the window if the bullet that was fired directly into Edgeworth's dad was it fired from inside the elevator? Typically, bullets don't ricochet off of glass. Not at an 880 degree angle, anyway. Or usually at all when they pierce said glass. This is it. Judgment Day. Today, things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. Whoa. Still getting flashbacks and getting tased. What's the big idea? So sorry, Nick. I only really touched your shoulder. I guess the shock hasn't worn off from my running with the stun gun yesterday. Oh god, now Maya can channel the electricity. He's fucking raiding. Anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Yeah, thanks, Maya. It's like Fukawa. <laughs> God, if she had gotten tased and then woke up and was Mia, oh my god, that would have been great. That would have made my day. <laughs> She'll stun gun herself and channel Mia. It would be perfect. Uh, Edgeworth is looking glum as always. I hope Von Karma doesn't pun it, push him too hard. Whoa. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm sorry. I just thought I'd cheer you up with a pat on the back. Maya, maybe you should go outside and discharge. Right, good idea. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. Oh yeah, pal. What's gotten into that girl? Not me yet, not for lack of trying, though. Detective Gumshoe. Morning, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, good morning. How'd it go, Detective? Have no fear, as promised, I've captured the runaway caretaker. I just brought him in to call a night pal. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe, you must be tired. <clears throat> Yeah, but when Mia possesses her, she's like 28, okay? Y'all know the rules. Actually, after that after, actually after that shock I got on the way in, I feel pretty good. Yogi says he's forgotten his own name. But that has to be a lie. Why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? He does remember, and I'm going to prove it. December 28th at 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, your honor. The prosecution is ready. Oh, very right, very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Come on, don't be awed into silence by every little thing he says. Very well, Miss Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement, please. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Very well. Please bring the defense witness into the courtroom. Now, oh, Karma's gonna try and hit two birds with one stone. He doesn't care if we find this dude guilty of the murder in the immediate. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. 
In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. Witness! Why did you run away yesterday? The witness was not running away, as he will now testify. I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. Huh? Uh, I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did. But I wasn't run away or nothing. I went to buy some food for Polly, you see. I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. I mean, I'd need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. So my testimony yesterday stands as is. Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? He has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. I call what you did running away and not just leaving. You heard Larry's testimony and realized you were in danger. Now, Mr. Wright, there's no need to rush to conclusions. As I said, the witness was not running away. Listen to the testimony. He sure seems relaxed. In fact, they both do, Von Karma and Yana Yogi. Then why did you leave? He's just about to say why. Is it so hard for you to just quietly listen when someone is talking? If I sat quietly, Edgeworth would be guilty in three minutes. I, uh, went to buy food for Polly, see? Food? Well, Polly is a bit of a gourmand, you see. She only eats these high-quality bird pellets from France. They only have them in the big pet shop downtown. But you weren't arrested until this morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker's shop? I feel like you should ask the parrot his name. Not sure you can bring it into court. I have the parrot as evidence. So it's possible. Uh, well, I kind of got lost, you see. The witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. Yeah, right. Nice try, on Karma. No one's going to believe that. Hmm, I see. So he was lost. Please, Your Honor, come to your senses. I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. You lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, yeah, seems like it. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with the incident? Uh... Or... Or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof. Uh, how am I supposed to prove what's going on in that old codger's head? It's impossible. Huh. <laughs> I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. Uh, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove he's, lie. he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. Might I say something, Mr. Wright? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. You've been saying the same thing now over and over. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past or lack thereof into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case and no motive. Both of these statements are lies. 
Order, order! Mr. Wright, there is a serious problem with your claim. Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Ho oh, ho, now this is interesting. I would like to know myself, so who is he? Don't play dumb, Von Karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness's name. His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. Yogi? That name seems familiar. Oh! Yanni Yogi from the DL6 incident. It figures the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. <laughs> Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi? Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now, then I've got nowhere else to go. Nick! How are you going to prove it? And how can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor, please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I see, that makes sense. <laughs> huh? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. Why? The witness has no fingerprints. What? What? No fingerprints? Uh, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. I burned my fingers working with this stuff, yeah. What? Yogi, you sneak. You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past. So we're all on the same page that is nearly impossible to do, and the damage it leaves makes it almost as recognizable that the person is the is a same person. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints, I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. No. <laughs> well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Uh. Hmm. It seems that the case has been decided. No. No. Yes, that's what I just said. <laughs> I know what happened. I know everything. For being a moron, you sure know every- I'm sure you do know everything, Phoenix. I... I just can't prove it. But no, I can't let it end like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. Nick, what are we gonna do? I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that there is a someone. Well, Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine his parrot for a little comic relief, hmm? Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're a sore winner, Von Karma. Wait a second. Cross-examine his parrot? What is it, Nick? No, you're not going to. Your Honor. The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his pro proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up on my proposal? Exactly, Your Honor. I'm going to make an absolute mockery of everybody in this room. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot. Order, order. Oh, uh, well, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Need you even ask? This is a farce. I object. Wait a second. 
You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma. I have a right to do as you suggested. Yeah, I mean, the alternative is, is that Von Karma's making sarcastic statements in court, which isn't exactly a bonus point. Hmm. Well, if you're so desperate, then please be my guest. Of course, should you go through with this and nothing comes of it, then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick, this is crazy. Well, still want to go through with your little game? Let the parrot take the stand. You know, there is a better alternative here. We could just call Grossman, I'm just saying. I will cross-examine her, Your Honor. A little annoying that the game figured it out for you, even though it was obvious anyway. Yeah. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Von Karma's rigged every person's testimony, every piece of evidence. Except the parrot. She's my last chance. Oh, this is fucking weird. At least I think so. <laughs> you better hope so. Bailiff, bring in the parrot. That's quite a bird. Please tell us your name. Name. A witness is ignoring me. It must hurt to be ignored by a bird. Ahem, very well, witness. Who is your owner? Please uh, testify for us. The bird ain't gonna say shit because you gotta say, say the bird's name to get her to respond. Hello, hello. Ah! Hmm. Certainly the most concise testimony we've had so far. Very well, begin your cross-examination. You go to you're gonna head to sleep, random. That's cool, dude. Thank you for swinging by and hanging out with us. Time to cross-examine the parent. I already know how to cross-examine her too. That's the best part. Right. What are you gonna do, Nick? I. I don't know. What do we do, Maya? You're the one who knows how to talk to the para, Maya. Come on. Hmm. Wait, what? Wait, really? What the fuck? God damn it, fine, I'll press it. Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. Right, oh, uh, what do I say? Maybe I should get her to say her name. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Oh, I fucked that up horribly. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly. Ah! Mr. Wright, I think we've established that this parrot is named Polly. Does this have anything to do with her owner's identity? No, it doesn't. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really have anything to do with that, no. Hmm. Please only ask questions pertaining to the matter at hand. Very, very well, witness. Continue your testimony. Shit. Frankly, I can't believe you're speaking to a parrot. Well, I guess we should try to get some information out of her. We need to show the judge that her owner is Mr. Yogi. Okay. Okay, so we just had Maya do the wrong thing. Got it. As I recall, two days ago... Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Unnecessary flashback drink. Ah, no freaking DL6. Ah. If I can get Polly to say that here, that will prove that the caretaker had something to do with DL6. Um, Polly, have we forgotten something? 